In this series of lessons, we've used three ways to solve simultaneous equations. We can represent them on the Cartesian plane with graphs and then see where the lines intersect. We can substitute one equation into the other. This gives us a new equation with only one unknown value. We find that unknown value and use it to find the other one. In the third method we used, we eliminated one unknown value by adding or subtracted two whole equations from each other. We can use any of these methods to solve problems that involve two unknown values. In this lesson, we will help Ms. Gallagher keep track of her money. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve word problems that involve money using simultaneous linear equations. This is Ms. Gallagher, a shopkeeper from the corner Spaza. Let's see what she's up to. She seems to have had a busy day. At the end of the day, Ms. Gallagher had 200 banknotes in the cash register. It was a mixture of 50 rand and 20 rand notes, but she had not counted them separately. In total, the register showed that she had 7,630 rand. Each day, she has to record the exact number of 50 rand notes and the exact number of 20 rand notes that she has in the system. She really doesn't want to have to count them out. Can you work out how many of each type of note she has? Let's first make sure we write down what we know about this problem and what it is we want to find out. The total number of notes is 200. Remember that this includes both 50 Rand and 20 Rand notes. The total value of the notes is 7,630. We don't know the number of 50 Rand or 20 Rand notes, so we'll use letters to represent these unknowns. Let's say the number of 50 Rand notes is X and the number of 20 Rand notes is Y. Can you write an equation using this information? Have another look at everything we know. The number of 50 Rand notes plus the number of 20 Rand notes is equal to 200. So we write this as x plus y is equal to 200 and we'll call this equation 1. Can we find a way of writing down the total value of all the 50 Rand notes together? Think about it. If there are 5 50 Rand notes, the total is 250 Rands. If there are 10 notes, the total is 500 Rands. So, we multiply the number of notes by 50. This means that we take the number of 50 Rand notes and multiply it by the value of the note which is 50 in this case. So we have a total value of 50 times x. For the value of all the 20 Rand notes we multiply the number of notes by the value. So we have y times 20 or 20y. Can you write an equation using 50x and 20y? That's not difficult since we know that the total amount of money is 7630. So we can write this equation as 50x plus 20y is equal to 7630 and we'll call this equation 2. Hey, what do you know? We have two equations with two variables. So what's our plan? We can solve them simultaneously. Again, you can choose to use any method. I've decided to use the elimination method. The equations are simplified, but I can see that I won't be able to just add or subtract these columns here. What shall we do? Do you see that I can multiply equation 1 by 20? This will make sure that I have 20 as a coefficient in both the equations. I'll call this new equation, equation 3. So I want to multiply equation 1 by 20. I get 
20x plus 20y is equal to 4,000. That is equation 3. That's better now. We have 20 as the coefficient of y in both equations 2 and 3. Now I can subtract this new equation from equation 2. Remember we need to change the signs. So this becomes minus 20x. 50 minus 20x gives me 30x. 20y minus 20y gives me 0 is equal to 7630 minus 4000 which gives me 3630. So to solve for x we need to divide both sides by 30 and I get x is equal to 121. Remember, x was the number of 50 Rand notes. So we have 121 50 Rand notes. Now, we can find the number of 20 Rand notes, the y value. I can find y by substituting x equals to 121 into equation 1. I get 121 plus y is equal to 200. To solve for y, I get y is equal to 200 minus 121 and that gives me 79. Remember to check your answer in the context. Does it make sense? We are working with banknotes so we know that both answers must be whole numbers. We can't work with half a banknote or with a negative banknote. As you can see our answers do make sense and they are correct. Hey we're done. Ms. Gallagher has 121 50 Rand notes and 79 20 Rand notes. This afternoon, she'll be able to bank them. In this lesson, we solve simultaneous equations that involved money. The important thing to remember when you're working with money or with numbers of coins or notes is to multiply the value of the money by the number of notes or coins you have. Here is a task for you. Use a graph and one of the algebraic methods and then compare your solutions. Now, during the holiday, Dominique works in her father's shop. However, she loves to spend time with her friend and takes time off too often. She agrees to work under the following conditions. Dominique is paid 55 Rand for every day she works and she must pay her father 66 Rand for every day she does not work. At the end of 30 days, she has earned 77 Rand. For how many days did she work? In the next lesson, we'll be working with some more interesting word problems. Until then, goodbye.